Hi everybody, how are ya? I'm coming live just a few minutes early. My name is Heather, Velvet Vines Design. At this point, if you're seeing me, I know for sure you're not watching me live. So if you feel like saying hi and where you're joining me from, I'd love to see you. I'm just gonna try to pull us up while we're getting the Facebook world to find us live and there okay I found myself oh let me make sure the sound's down all right hi Con hey Kelly how you doing girl all right I'm a couple minutes early so we'll get started and we'll let uh Tracy find me and share me in and then I'll talk about my little project tonight how y'all doing on this Monday night. This was the Monday, Mondayest Monday I've had in a long time. Whew. I don't know. Anybody else? Like, I felt like I was on a very good round or something. <laughs> Anybody else hear me on that? So. I'm just glad it's coming to an end. And I love doing this part. It kind of like ends my day, just kind of like zen, right? Well, with the exception of like the nervousness of going live and all of that. But other than that, like I do like to make something. So we're going to have fun tonight with um, an old pair of jeans I had. I saved them. I was thinking I was going to do something with the waistband of them and then... I was perusing the good old Pinterest and I saw um, I want to make some wall sconces for my home and I want to use some mason jars so anyway I was looking at some burlap ideas and it just kind of hit me like hey jean pocket that'd be cool and um, anyway so I made a little something something yesterday that was fun Nadia's got me saying something something um, that was fun so um, Hi, Sharon. Hey, how you been? Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Um, I'm just waiting to get shared in. It looks like it's right on time. Hi, Pat. How is everybody tonight? I'm just getting a little bit started on my second coat of paint. This is nothing fun here. Hey, how have you been? Hey, Brenda. So I was just telling everybody we're going to have fun tonight with an old jean pocket. Um, I shared a picture on Craft Around the Clock and my page to kind of give an idea. The one that I did, I'm actually going to gift to my cousin. She's having a baby girl and she's doing her baby girl's room in all those colors, the pinks and the lavenders. Um, so I'm going to gift that to her. And uh, so it was just perfect for her. It was just some leftover stuff I had from that whole boho thing and um, the colors and the jean pockets. So I figured tonight let's do... Um, I got this fantastic blue toile. Here, let me hold it up where it's the actual thick napkin. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. A little excited. So I got this blue toile napkin. I got it right on Amazon. Okay, so we're going to work with that on the background. What I have here is just a um, clearance rack Hobby Lobby $6 wood sign. So this was all it was, it was just wood. It was that, uh, my original picture has the color of it, but it was just kind of like a green hued kind of dark wood. Um, all I have done, all I have done up until this point, which by the way, if you don't know me, my name is Heather with Velvet and Vines Design. Thanks for joining me tonight on this Monday night, my Monday, Mondayest Monday ever. We'll talk about that a little later. But all I did before we got to join each other tonight to have some fun is around just the edges here. So I'm going to put you down now that you saw me, but just around this raised edge, I took this dark wax and I rubbed it first before I did my first coat of chalk paint. So just around this edge here, not this part, because this is where we're going to decoupage, but this part. Then I went in and I've already done the edges with two coats of just regular old chalk paint. And then while we're uh, joining in, I'm just doing my second little coat here just because you can see some of the, the wood through. And this is a pretty light colored napkin. 
So I just want to be sure my base is nice and good. So all we're doing now is that second coat. We'll dry that. Mod, um, actually, I'm going to use some DuraClear for my decoupage medium. And put some napkins down and make an arrangement. So we're going to use the pocket is kind of like, think more like the, the vase or vase. I say vase. <laughs> I'm not that proper to say vase, but I know a lot of people do. And, um, and then we're going to use like some yellows and blues and lemons and blueberries. So I know we're still in the winter, but I'm feeling more of like an everyday. Eventually I'll get into some Easter stuff. I know we're getting there. A lot of people are enjoying Valentine's Day. Um, but I'm still feeling like every day. I don't know. So how is everybody? Hi, Charlene, Diane. Oh, thank you, Sparky Chris, for sprinkling. I appreciate that. Hi from Alabama. Thanks, Jeannie, for watching. I appreciate it. Hopefully you like it. That napkin, yes. I love that napkin. Isn't it lovely? Oh, I love blue and white. I always have. I always have had a thing for it. Always. You just can't. It's just, it's classic. Um, I have not been always a fan of yellow. Yes, I'm gonna admit it. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of yellow, um, but I have grown to love it with this blue and white. So, but I know some people truly love it. I'm a purple lover, see? So, so how some people feel about yellow and it's, and they just love it and it's everything. They, they wear it, they'll have it, you know, as a wall in their home. I feel very much the same way about purple. Any hue of purple, light purple, dark purple, whatever. Okay. And just because this is just the second coat, I'm just, just trying to get coverage. Coverage in the areas that it just kind of showed through with the wood. So that's it. I know paint, watching paint is someone paint, just, you know, just a plain coat like this. Like if I were to be, you know, a really nice painter, like Jeremiah's dream. She is a beautiful painter. Um, that'd be different, but I know what it's like to watch somebody slap just a paint a coat on it. All right, we're good here. I'm going to dry this while people are coming in. Hi, how are you? Deborah? Do you go by Deborah? Hey, Aunt Roxanne, how are you doing? Um, Roxanne, that's in here. I'm going to turn on my dryer. So if somebody's wearing earbuds, you might want to turn the volume down. Um, my Aunt Roxanne that's on here. So the picture that I did of the gourd that had the hand-painted Santa on it, my Aunt Roxanne in the comments is the, the painter of that. So, fantastic artist. You go by Deborah. I have, um, my stepmom is also a Deborah, but she goes by Debbie. So I just wanted to make sure. Hi, Karen. Make sure I'm not missing anybody. Thanks, everybody, for joining in. So I was just explaining a little bit earlier, just in case you're popping in, you're wondering what we're gonna do tonight. We're not just playing with a whiteboard. Um, we're gonna make something with some blue and white twill. We're gonna use this napkin here as the backdrop. And then we're going to use an old jean pocket. And we're gonna make more of like a vase at the bottom or a vase. And then we're just gonna use some yellow and blue and white kind of, um, like think 3D wall art and just make like a really nice wall piece. You know, I don't know why I just sang that to you. <laughs> so for those of you that are here with Craft Around the Clock, thank you. Thanks for joining. If you are here from my page and you're not a part of Craft Around the Clock, I can't say enough great things about it. So I encourage you to join it. Um, it's nonstop crafting, Monday through Friday. And it's free. It's free to join. You know, just just a bunch of painters, DIYers, crafters, designers, makers, woodworkers, just people that love to create, work with their hands, um, and be inspired. Um, just getting together and sharing some stuff. So it's photos and um, videos and lives and all kinds of stuff. So no matter how you like to consume your content, there's so much there. So I encourage you to try that out. I was watching um, Wacky Jackie that was on before me, and um, she was telling a story about her granddaughter caught a, a dirty word from her. <laughs> 
and I got so tickled because while she was telling it, I could remember. Um, so my, I, I've told some, you know, some of you throughout some of my lives, you know, my youngest son, he's nine, but he, he's autistic. And so um, that means, you know, he learned how to talk. It was slower to talk. And um, he was maybe about two and a half. I'm going to use my Deco Podge Medium. Um, I'm using this uh, DuraClear. I, I like it. It's thinner than Mod Podge. I feel like it's not like that goopy. It's what, you know, anyway. Debbie Rigg, you can blame her with Studio MZ. M Studio MDAZ for getting me into this, but I'm just going to drizzle it on, use my um, paintbrush to kind of smear it around, and then we're going to put the napkin on. So anyway, um, she, <laughs> I, he was about maybe two and a half when he started talking, and and he was still using a sippy cup because uh, motor skills, you know, are difficult sometimes, and um, he dropped it and it broke and this one particular sippy cup was everything to him I mean it was everything and it just wasn't the moment in life that I wanted the sippy cup to be broke so that I had to deal with it with him right and uh I said oh sh you can finish it up what do you think that his words were that he decided were just his favorite words for about three months no matter where we went grocery store doctor's office <laughs> no matter where we went it was oh <laughs> from a little two and a half year old and that was the only thing he would say it didn't it was no other words so Jackie <laughs> I'm there with you girl <laughs> oh I am there with you I was probably a little bit too um, ambitious with uh, doing the whole thing in the DuraClear but was a little bit nervous so if I need to I can go back and add it now what I had done is this is the napkin that we're working with so it's three ply I removed the two plies and I got it down to its single layer then what I did is I really wanted to use the edge on it but you can see that it doesn't really fit here right so what I did was I took several napkins and I cut out the edge and I made it a little bit tattered on the edge so it can be feathered and it will blend in really nicely. And then I cut them up. So you can see here, this has its edge gone. And then I took the edges and I just kind of, you know, piece them together how I can use them on here. So we'll try to match them up as best we can, right? I really wanted to use those edges actually. So. So yeah, Jackie, I was feeling your story so, so much. I guess the only good thing about my side is, is I was the one that <laughs> messed up. Like, in other words, no, nobody was calling me to say, did you curse <laughs> at my child today? Why, yes, yes I did. I probably will be that grandma, by the way. Probably will so be that grandma, but hey. All right, how is everybody's Monday treating them? Because like I had just said, I felt like it was the longest Monday of Mondays. Whew, like it just kept going and going. I was like, why? <laughs> Enough already. Anyone else or has it been a fantastic day? I love it when Mondays are great. It makes me feel like the rest of the day is like, or the rest of the week is like, you know, like, you can't hold me down. <laughs> no, my Monday was fantastic. So, you know, what? anybody else like that? And then if my Monday is a little um, wonky, I don't know. I feel like I have to have a whole lot more like internal pep talks and I craft a little more that week, I guess. I don't know. All I'm doing here is just going back over because I was so... Um, we'll say early. <laughs> I was ambitious with smear and all of that on there. I'm used to a lot of times when I decoupage, I do the iron. I have it out here actually a lot of times. So, you know, that's why I slap it all on there and then I dry it and then I put it on there. But as soon as I put all of that down, I remembered that I wanted to piece this together tonight. I was not ironing it. I'm going to actually dry it with the dryer 
So anyway, we'll just have a little extra, you know, it can't hurt. It's just a clear varnish, which by the way, if anyone hasn't worked with, it's fantastic. Like I, I know, I, I know I won't stop using um, Mod Podge. I mean, there's just, it's just impossible to not need or want to use Mod Podge at some point. It's just kind of one of those like universal craft supplies, I think. It's like hot glue. It's like you'll always need it. Super glue, hot glue. Um, but I tend to be a little heavy handed. And so I find that um, when I do napkins like this and this method where I have to lay it down, that I'm just not really successful with Mod Podge. It just frustrates me and it just coats my fingers and, and I just get really upset with it. And I feel like the napkin is always uber wrinkly and gooey. I also find that. So I'm sure that you know that's me, right? I'm sure, I'm sure this is user error. <laughs> no, it's not the product. But I do find that this is a little more forgiving for me and my style of crafting with my heavy handedness, things like that, right? All right, so I just made an edge and you can see here that, you know, I didn't really, I mean, I didn't really match it up, match it up. I just put my corners in and sometimes it overlapped and all is well. I'm going to pull that up. I didn't get it to lay down exactly right and then it ripped. But it's okay because I have a couple of pieces over here spare. You know why? Because I know myself. <laughs> too short and I have more than one spare because I really know myself <laughs> I've messed with that more than once all right there we go there we go a lot better is everybody enjoying today's lineup it's been fantastic and it's not even over yet you still have um unique circle heart creations and i think it's his girl designs coming up so you still have crafting for another couple of hours it's fantastic all right so now we have the edge done now i'm going to do the middle so i feel like kind of can just i'm just going to lay it down for this moment before i like put it down put it down you know with some and I'll probably have to go in and fill in a little bit here on these edges and that's okay. That's what I do love about this pattern is that it's very forgiving and the overlapping. So as long as you can tell my border, I'm just, I'm not going to keep it like this. I'm going to pull it back up to, to do the, the Duraclear. I just want to see how it fits though. this piece over here and then we'll just need like a corner here okay okay I think it's gonna be really pretty today has been an incredible lineup of creators it, it always is I feel like it's such a great um it's such a great mashup of people too different styles all of that you're new to me hi Charlene thanks from Wyoming thanks for joining oh is it how's your weather there I bet it's um, a bit cold you got some snow right Wyoming's gorgeous I've never been there. It's one of the few states I haven't been to. That napkin reminds me of, you think it's Wedgwood, China. Yeah, um, my grandmother had um, kind of this blue toile um, dishware and I just loved it. I loved it. It was beautiful. And um, I, I, I get, it's probably why I'm drawn to it. I was very close with her so it brings back great memories for me but I just think all in all just the this color blue um, it's just beautiful it's just you know and it can match up and be so stunning with so many other um, colors you know pink purple uh, now we're doing you know yellow red I mean, there's just no, even at like a moss green, a moss green with this would be beautiful. So there's just really no, I don't know. It's just one of, it's just a, it's like a true neutral, I guess. 
It's a busy neutral. <laughs> but you know what I mean. It's like a black and white almost. I feel the same way about black and white check. I love black and white check. I also love Debbie Rigg. I'm like, have somewhat of like, I mean, and that's weird to say, but like a girl crush in the sense like, you know, I, I just love her, love her stuff. Nothing she can do is wrong. It's fantastic, fantastic. Just love her. She's sassy. Some people you just resonate with, right? I love our lineup in the mornings too. Oh, they just get my day started. Um, you have Annabelle with bluebells and then a little bitty and um, then um, oh, it's Christy. It's farmer. Help me out. Sorry guys, my memory is like, I'm just trying so hard to learn names and stuff like that and it's it's so hard sometimes because you don't meet the person. Like I'm, I'm that type of person. I don't know how you guys are. I know some people like really resonate with words and they can remember words, but I remember faces. So I need to see faces. And if I can't see it, it's so hard for me to remember. Like once I meet you and I see your face, I don't forget. Well, normally speaking, I do feel like as as time goes on, we don't exercise our minds as much like that with like, um, like how on earth did we remember phone numbers? I don't know because I can't for the life of me, like anybody else do this? I will literally have three numbers, like a code or something. And I'll be like, I'll leave the screen. I'm like, what were those three numbers again? <laughs> like, how do I, how am I struggling with three numbers when I used to be able to know, you know, so many seven digit numbers off the top of my head, any given moment in time. Uh, I, I don't know, it just, it perplexes me. So I'm gonna chalk it up to, we just don't have it exercised. <laughs> the, that part of our mind has just gone, yeah, you don't need me anymore. I'm gonna let you use this for remembering things like how to connect to the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I miss the good old days sometimes. Like I think about, um, you know, sitting in my room and having to get up to change the channel on the cable box, like only had 12 buttons. Boop, 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 love that. Hi, Annabelle, how are you? Wacky Jackie's here. How are you? And Sheila, how are you ladies doing? Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to hold it up and let you see it. I'm almost done. We're going to get this corner done. I'm going to hold it up, let you see it. We're going to dry it. And then we're going to move on to the next part, which is building the actual um, arrangement, the 3D arrangement. That'll be the fun part, y'all. So, yeah. Like my kids get upset when the um, remote runs out of um, batteries and I'm like, <laughs> Who has no remote? This is actually coming together pretty well. Sometimes I go back and forth of where I put the, <laughs> the DuraClear, whether it's my brush, I put it on the board, I put it on, you know, I don't know. It's all working, but do you see how forgiving it is? It's so thin. Um, all right, I got just a couple of little pieces. Okay. My son had a baseball game, or I'm sorry, basketball game tonight, but I didn't get to go. My little guy, like he, this is his, of all sports, it's his least. He hates it, hates it, hates the buzzards, the whistles. It's too loud in that little area. So this week he has three games and he said, he said he just couldn't do it. He could do three. So we decided I would stay home tonight with them. But we told him that he has to go tomorrow night. So he's down tomorrow night. Oh, I'm glad that you guys are talking to each other. Technology made us lazy. I think so too, Patty. I think so too. I still feel like, you know, I just don't, I still don't understand why I don't remember it because I do still feel like I've exercised memory. 
you know what I mean? Like having, uh, you know, my work does that for me. I say that all the time. Like my work is going to save me from hopefully, knock on wood, having, I don't know. If they say if, uh, that exercise is your brain, then I hope, I, I hope that that's one of the things my job serves me well, that it works my mind. It's a lot of remembering. So maybe that's where the power goes. Like your brain's like, yeah, I gave you that effort over here. <laughs> but yeah, I'm terrible about it. Like if I just have a couple of things to remember, like an, on an Amazon order or something, or like if, you know, one of the kids texts me that they want something and I'm shopping for it on Amazon, I go back and forth, back and forth between what they're telling me. I just can't remember. I walk out of the room all the time, not remembering why, or into the room, not remembering why. All right, all I'm doing now is just patching up some little holes that I could see, um, like I can see it here. So that's all I'm doing. Like it was just a little bit too, too thin. The pattern is super forgiving. So, and I know that um, the outside, the, also the reason I'm focusing on the outside is because I am thinking about the fact that this arrangement is going to go, you know, here and it's going to have things coming up out of it. But this part here is going to be exposed. So I just really wanted it to be nice and pretty. All right. So. I feel pretty good about this. I'm not gonna soak my, I'm gonna hold it up and let you see. So another thing I did too, um, is I did tape off the back cause I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell this in my Etsy shop or not. So I just wanted to make sure that if I did, it was a really nice clean piece. There wasn't like paint splotches on the back. So this is what it looks like so far. You can see the white raised edge. What we're going to do now is just dry this off and then we're going to sand the sides. I want to scuff up some of that paint. That's why I put that wax down first so that it scuffs up, scuffs up nice. Then we'll add the, um, I actually have foam to add inside of it because of some of the substance. So again, you're going with the dryer. So if you got sensitive ears. Hey Lori, how are you girl? How you doing? What amazing thing have you made this week? Y'all, Lori makes some amazing, amazing grapevines. Like, hands down, some of the best work with florals I've seen. They just look like garden beauties. You should check her out. Check her stuff out. Hey, Mom Creations. Lori, you could come on on your, um, on your page. In fact, I, I forget to say this. You, ladies, you do such a great job of saying this every time you go live. If you, um, have a business page or you know, you're a creator and you have a page that you share things um, feel free to come on and comment that way other people that way other people can see the follow next to your name um, that's what this is all about so please do that and those of you that are just in here and enjoying the whole crafting part of it then when you see some of these other creators commenting make sure you follow them and check out what um, you know some of their art too um, all, every one of them, one of us, um, we're just different, right? All of us do some different crafting. We all have different specialties, um, so different styles, all kinds of things, different accents. <laughs> so you really do get, um, you can see a little bit of the snap again lifting up here. So I just want to make sure get that fixed real quick. It's a good thing I didn't dip my paintbrush. Oh, that's my little guy. If he comes in, well, well, I did, I locked, I locked my door, not because of my kids, because of my animals. My cat can open up doors, even to the exterior of the house. Like, we have to keep the, um, big locks. He's so naughty. It's cute, though. Hi, Betty. That napkin. Thank you, Cynthia. I think it's pretty, too. I love the blue ball. 
needs to remember everyone's phone number. Your seven siblings' birthdays, your nieces and nephews. Wow, Patty, do you still? You can't remember any of them. It's because you stopped trying to remember it. But yeah. That's funny. You bought your cat a special curved white banana pillow and she stopped using your TV remotes for pillows. <laughs> You're not pathetic. I got a cat for my dog. We all do things for our animals that just seem crazy, right? Just seem crazy. Yeah, I have um have a boxer and he's loaded with anxiety. Like just he's he's scared of himself. He is scared of everything. Um, God bless his soul. Anyway, I thought maybe, I thought maybe, I don't know where I got this idea from. Probably Facebook, because, you know, I'm in a group for everything. Like, everything. Um, I don't know. But somebody said, you know, another animal might help. And my husband said, heck to the nose on another dog. <laughs> so, I just showed up home with a cat. Well, actually, two kittens. They were really young. He's a cat person. One didn't make it. It was sick. Um, but one did, and he's fantastic. He just opens up all our doors. Anyway, just, just wish you pay the bills, right? Right? It's like our kids, right? Our best friends. Your cat rules the roost. Yeah. They're, they're something. I'm lucky. The Crafty Farmer. That was it. Misty. I think I called her Christy. I was trying to think of your name earlier, Misty. And I butchered it, but I remembered it as soon as I saw it, the crafty farmer. Anyway, all right, so here we are. Tattered jean. This is from an old pair of jeans pocket. How I did it on the um, one that I had posted is I stuffed it. But this one, the pieces that I'm using, like this, are pretty heavy. So I don't trust this with just that. So what I'm going to do is, um, and so on the other one, all I did was I just glued it. I used tacky glue and I glued it and hot glue and I glued it to the back, but I'm going to cut a little bit out of this back. Not much, just a little bit because I still want it to take a shape around it. Kind of, you know, making like a container and then I'm going to have this. So let's see, I kind of want this on the bottom. And so this is going to kind of be here. All right. So I'm just going to hot glue this on. And then we're going to hot glue the jean around it. I have a little bit of stuffing to kind of stuff it because I want it to, you know, oh, like a little, a little butt. <laughs> I don't want it to be flat. I want it to have a little, you know, shape, right? Um, like God intended. So we'll do this and then I have a little tiny bit of moss just to put on the top to kind of hide it. So this is what I'm kind of thinking like that. Okay. And then we'll just put the, um, help me out here people. Cause it's a Monday and I can't speak the pics <laughs> and greenery. All right. I'm just going to kind of start taking the hot glue. This for now. Try to do this without burning myself. There we go. I can feel it now. Were your ears burning? She enjoys my. <laughs> I did. I said I love those ladies starting us off on our on our days. I just love it. I love it. The energy is fantastic. You know, uppity and just so positive. <laughs> That's why I'm so perplexed why I had the Monday 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 that I had because I started it off fantastic. Now nah, it wasn't really that bad. Just you're back to like the new year, a lot of decision making. Who wants to do that, right? All right, and so all I'm doing now is just kind of sealing around the edges. 
I just really want it to have like a nice kind of form. And look at that booty. And look. Don't kick me off of Facebook now. It's not real. All right. I'm going to hold this up so that you can see it. I mean, it's just, you know, just a little pocket. I'm going to, if I can get my finger in there. Actually, I have a dowel here. I can put some stuffing around it. But I want you to see it first. It's a little glue job. All right. There you go. <laughs> and it's just got the foam kind of down inside of it, you see? So it's not. And I did make sure I was doing it right side up. Oh, yay, Heather. Thank you. <laughs> That could have been, could have been upside down, but it wasn't, it wasn't some, somehow, some way I looked at that. Sometimes I surprised myself. All right. So all I'm doing here, I just have some poly fill off to the side. I'm just going to put it in the sides here just to kind of, you know, fill, fill it out. Give a little, you know, junk in the pocket. And somebody, um, Oh, I wish I could remember her name. Now, hold on, I'm trying to remember. Was it Carol? She shared a picture of um, one that she did a couple of years ago, she said, and she made her pocket with burlap, and it was so cute. So um, if you guys go back to the Craft Around the Clock post. Oh, wait, hold on. We got some deformity here. We can't have that. That's a little too much junk in the pocket. Um, but you could see like a burlap version. It was so cute. She used like natural colors and it was still the same 3D art. She had it coming out of the um, picture frame. It was very, very cute. So if you want another take on the same idea. Unless a little, oh, I'm going to put a little more right there. All right, and then what I have here, this is actually leftover from Halloween. <laughs> I um, put these on the outside of my, my pumpkins um, when I made kind of like an updo jack-o'-lantern. And I just like this really, really bright green to go against this. And all I'm doing is just putting it right there on the top just to kind of hide. That's it, nothing crazy, right? All right, so now you got a nice little butt. See? <laughs> All right, so let's go in with some flowers. And I do have some things, like maybe I might, might add a little dragonfly. Maybe. We'll see. A little embellishment. Let me check the comments. Oh, am I missing a good conversation? Missy, you felt so stupid. Oh, junk in the pocket. You love it? Yeah, a little junk in the pocket. Today has definitely been a Monday. And you just went um, camping, right? You just went and, forgive me for asking this, but did you all really stay in a tent? Like in a tent? Like where there's like bears and stuff? Like not like a camper or like a pop-up, but a tent? I was like, when you showed that picture and you were like, I'm at my campsite. And I thought, there's no, there's no vehicles. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, you are so brave. <laughs> I'm a glamper. Can you tell? Like, I'll say I camp. That's a fib. I don't camp. It's, it's got, it's because it's, I've been camping when I was little with my grandparents. It was truly in a tent. That's camping. What I've done is glamping. It's glorified camping. They give it to you. That's awesome. And I'm sure your kids love that. You did. Tent. Oh. Yeah. It's just. Now, um, I am, because I'm dealing with a small space and I already did this once, so I learned the hard way. I am not going to hot glue now. I'm going to go back and hot glue at the end. The reason is, you know this too, when you put hot glue on the end of something and it pulls on the, it puddles on the end, when you put it inside of something, what do you think happens? The hot glue pushes at the top and makes this big puddle. Well, if you're dealing with a surface area that's only that big to stick some of these picks in, then eventually it's all going to be one big puddle of hot glue that's going to harden and I can't get anything in. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to kind of go 
go like this. And then at the end, I'll add the hot glue. So, I mean, you, you guys, you do whatever you want. You are all experienced crafters. And I, I'm just, I touch every piece. I think I heard Kalia say one time, shake hands with every piece. Heard her do that in one of her um, lives. And I thought that that was an excellent reference. Um, so I'm trying to do the same. So as much as I love all of this pick and greenery, I know that at some point, you know, I have some blueberries, I have some other hints of blue, I have a little bit of white and a dogwood. So I know that I can't get crazy, but I do maybe want this sunflower. So I'm gonna put it off to the side. I probably definitely want another lemon, but I'm not sure I want this whole thing. So I'm gonna peel this lemon off and use it on its own, okay? This is really hard for me because if you watch um, or if you've looked at any of my pictures of my other things, like I love to be extra and go a lot. So it's hard for me to go small and minimal and go, no, not this whole piece and not all this greenery because if it was up to me, this thing would be like a bush. But we're not going to do that. I think it'll lose its flavor. It, you know, this. The napkin is beautiful and I don't want it to lose that. Oh, you know what I forgot to do, y'all? And unless somebody said it in the comments and I missed it, forgot to scuff up the edge. All right, let me do that real quick before we get too many pieces in. I'm sorry. I just want the edge to have a little bit of like, you know, like the paint scuffed off of it, like chipped off. Just like it's been, it's been around the block. We just painted it to make it look new, but then to make it look like it's not new. This is all the game of crafting. We play games. <laughs> Can you imagine what, if these things had minds, what they would think, okay, so you're painting me new. And now you are scuffing me up. Makes total sense. All right. So all I did was just kind of like rough up my edges. That's it. All right. Much better. Much better. Now I have sawdust everywhere. The blue and yellow look super. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you. You were telling your story today. You didn't. You didn't finish it, but you had said that your husband um, worked at the uh, trade center during 9/11 and um, was late because of car thing. I just want to say, at that moment in time, I said a prayer for you and all families affected by 9/11. Can't imagine what that was like for you that day. I live in Maryland, right on the coast. Um, and so I'm like surrounded by like, you know, uh, NASA is right over here and we have the Air uh, Dover Air Force Base, um, which is not far from me and the Naval Base in Annapolis and then Virginia Beach. So I'm literally surrounded by and I can just remember surrounded by, um, you know, a lot of our, our government protection and armed forces. And I just remember that time and how everybody felt. and. Just wanted to tell you, I was thinking about you when you said that. All right, so a little bit of white, some dogwood, just a couple of pieces, just some splashes of white. And I just want it to kind of like, kind of, you know, one more piece. And I think we're done with that. So just a couple of pieces, a couple little. It's really great to do these projects um, if you have leftovers. Like if you've done a couple of projects and you have some things left over or maybe you're ending um, all of your makes for a particular season and you want to get use, this would be great. These and like I say table center pieces are fantastic to use your um, scraps. Like you're just all the things that are left over. See like this, I pull this up. I have a um, bucket that sits behind me. And when I'm done with like greenery and I have like a little piece like this left over, I save it. I mean, I never throw this away and 
like something like this, it just comes in handy because you only need like one little sprig where, or like even a centerpiece, right? Um, where, and a lot of times I won't keep one sprig. I'll put something like this in there. So chances are, um, see, this is why, this is why that hot glue is, there we go, was not a good idea. <laughs> there we go. So I'm just playing around with some of the color. Um, I thought maybe this would be cute to maybe put on the, on the back. So that's why I pulled those out. I can't finish my sentences. I'm not good with words. I thought that that little um, daisy would be really cute to put on the pocket. <laughs> there we go. Not on the back. Words are hard. Words are hard. All right, a couple of little sprigs of blueberries. I am gonna use my pick machine, and I do realize that not everybody has one of these, and it, it, is, it is for sure a luxury. So I always like to say, you know, you can use um, comparable um, tools, like just doing a feeder hole with, you know, with like a barbecue skewer. Um, they do sell those little ends, the plastic or the, the spike ends that you can put on that has the floral wire that you can go around as well. When you get down to where there's like flimsy little wires and you just need to pierce kind of foam, like just a little piece of foam that those picks are just amazing. All right, I'm gonna do one more piece of the blue. Sorry if I'm missing any. Oh, thank you. I like the blueberries too. Thank you, Misty. You worked within two blocks, not in that building, but still walk by there daily. Still, still, it's just when something like that happened, you we didn't know. We didn't know all the things. I was. That is one of those things they say, like JFK. You you'll never forget where you were when he was assassinated. Um, I, I will never forget where I was when that happened. I'm sure all of us feel that way. All right. Oh, y'all, it's so cute. Some of the blue. Okay, so I kind of like this. It's 10 o'clock. I started at 9.15, right? Am I done? Oh, I'm done. I'm, I think I, let me see my time. I think I am at my time. 9.15, yes I am, I'm so sorry. Oh, right at time. Okay, so hop on over to See Unique. This is where we're at. I might do a little something something on the um, on the pocket to make it a little cuter, but I'll post a picture. So thanks for joining me and chatting. Sorry, time went so quick. Hop on over, See Unique. Thanks everybody, happy Monday.